Welcome back to Community Conversations. I'm your host, Steve Mantis, and our guest today is the president of the Lakehead University Student Union, uh, Roman Jabowski. Jack. Jackabowski. Jackabowski. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> so let's uh, talk a little bit about the student union. So we've got around yeah. 7,000 students. What does the student union do? What, what is their role in, in uh, we, we do uh, life? some baseline stuff. I mean, so for example, probably two of the biggest things we do are uh, we provide health insurance. So, I mean, that's pretty huge. That's kind of like half our budget. Wow. Um, and then one of our other biggest services is the Universal Bus Pass. So you've maybe seen, if you take transit ever, uh, you would see students with a card and it's got a little sticker on it and, you know, they go and it gives them universal access to the bus. And, you know, that's something we've been, that's a deal that we have with, transit in the city of Thunder Bay and we've been kind of negotiating that that sort of was a negotiation process that started in my first term and it's ongoing so so it's you're kind of like bulk buying with the yeah. transit yeah we're bulk buying it's a uh, good old-fashioned union socialism we're uh, it many years ago I think it's about nine or ten years ago now when they started it and um, it works, the mechanics of the deal are basically that every single student pays into it mm -hmm. and every student has, you know, the opportunity to pick up a U-Pass and use it. Not all students are going to use it, mm -hmm. um, but for the ones who need it, it's there. And uh, it's an incredible deal for students. Um, I think right now, the price students are paying is everyone's paying a hundred and four dollars so for a year or eight months or how does that work yeah right now it's a year right now it's a year that was something it started as an eight month deal and uh, that was something actually that city council they wanted to see it at 12 months and I you know I think that's good I think that from the city's perspective I think you would want it to be 12 months because um, you know, on the on transit's budget, maybe it's not as good, but for the city, if you're thinking long term and if you're trying to attract young people and get them to stay in the city, I think that's it's really valuable to have, mm -hmm. you know, transportation in the summer because people's transportation needs don't uh, evaporate. They still need to get places just sure. because it's summer. So, so. The $104 you mentioned, yeah. is that how much a student would pay for the pass for a year? Or is that how much LUSU is actually uh, chipping in? Yeah, so every, well, every student pays that. So okay. we, that comes out of their, their they come They their pay fees. it with their uh, tuition. Yeah, okay. so they're called referendum fees. All right. So those are fees that people have voted on specifically. Um, so they can only be used for, for that specific purpose. So individuals who then take advantage of the program, do they have to pay as well or no? No. no. So that's, well, they've already paid, right? That's all, so it's a, in a way, it's a free bus pass for the next year for all students. Um, it's I mean, they paid. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's free, except they pay for it, yeah. I guess. So it's yeah, not paid really in free. Advance, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you pay it in... The, it's a service, mm -hmm, really, great. right? I mean, more than... Uh, anything so and quite a good deal in terms of cost. yeah no it's great it's uh it's great much to the chagrin of uh transit in the city of thunder bay but um you know i think it's when you look at the how the program works um it's really done wonders to increase ridership and I think that should be, I think that's the goal of transit, sure. right? I think the goal of transit is to have as many people riding transit as possible because you got cars off the road, um, yep. people getting to where they need to be. You know, when you look at transit, people, people use transit to go to school, to go to work and to go shopping, groceries, stuff like that. Yep. So yeah, it's really important. And, uh, it's not always valued as much as it should be. One of the things that I've sort of been 
I've tried, I've kind of tried to step up our government relations side of things at the student union. Um, and one of the things I'm constantly pushing for is that there needs to be incentives for municipalities to increase ridership because, you know, when you have a cost recovery model where you're recovering and, you know, and they don't recover a lot of money, it's maybe 30% mm -hmm. of uh, the transit budget is, um, recovered through user fees. So you, that, that would be, you know, cash fares, lots of cash fares, you know, you passes included in that mm -hmm. 20 ride pass, all that stuff like that. People paying yes. for it. Right. But really transit is a social service and that's why there's so much money put into it from the municipality. Mm -hmm. Right. Mo the vast majority of the budget is just paid by the city of Thunder Bay. And as you know, the the larger de debate or discussion around transit is it's it's green it's it's we're reducing pollution we're mm -hmm. reducing our reliance on uh, so much fossil fuels fuels and i'm guessing it also reduces the cost of the infrastructure if you have fewer cars on the road <laughs> then the roads actually last longer yeah absolutely and they should probably do some kind of study surrounding that because you know the roads i know in thunder roads. bay <laughs> we all drive on them you know and uh so, yeah, I mean, we don't have to tell anyone that uh, <laughs> less cars on the road in Thunder Bay might be a really good thing for the roads. <laughs> right on. So that's one of the issues you're trying to bring forward, uh, mm -hmm. for both, I guess, municipally and provincially, I guess that's where some of the other funding is. Yeah. What are some of the other reasons why you wanted to get involved as, uh, in, you know, uh, student politics? Oh God! Which is why really community I, politics as well. Yeah. I mean. Why did I want to get involved? I started um, working for the Argus, which is the student newspaper at Lakehead University, and uh, so I started covering uh, the student union, and that was kind of how I got involved. And uh, you know, actually, from there, I met Ian Kaufman and uh, Danny Baxek, who were the Vice President of Finance and the President Simon Ian was on your show I think a, a while ago and those guys kind of you know made it seem like a good idea. <laughs> so did they fool you I or am. what? Yeah, I, I, I've been uh, I've been hoodwinked. So, yeah, <laughs> that's oftentimes what happens. It you know it seems like politics. <laughs> it, it, you probably get paid something, but it's probably yeah. not anywhere near what you actually uh, contribute. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's like, uh, like I, f I feel in my second term, like I'm finally, you know, in a position where I can get things done and mm -hmm. I'm, you know, more efficient and stuff like that. It's, there's a lot of structural challenges in student unions because, um, you know, I mean, I came into this position with no experience whatsoever, right? And now I'm managing a five million dollar non-profit so five million dollars hang yeah. on to that i'm going to ask for you for a loan but we're <laughs> sure. going to take a short break sure and we'll be right back